Hey, baby, I'm looking beautiful as always. No lumps, no bumps, no scars, no bruises. So this is what happened, okay? Now, I get to work at 1030. And we uh, we worked out a promotion today. We gave away some free food. We gave away free pulled pork sandwiches, free chicken sandwiches. Yes, sir. Free pulled pork sandwiches and a salad, you know. I got to watch uh, people went trips to New York. Uh, a lady won a car today. They gave away like 40 iPods and shit like that. So, we get back to the job. Ooh, yeah, we got back to the job. And when we get back to the job, the guy is there picking up some food. Apparently, he's uh, had a deal going with the boss. And, and he ordered some tri-tip. So this, I got, I'm like, dude. When you get finished talking to the boss, we need to talk. Yeah, we need to talk. We need to talk. Yes, sir. Ice cream? You want to go to the ice cream man? Huh? Look, we have to go back to the job. We got to give Jazzy a ride home. Okay. So get the front. Well, I'm going to do the video. You go get your ice cream in. I was to start the video over, but nah, we won't. So. We settled the guy, uh, get all his shit in his truck and everything. So now it's time for me and him to talk. I'm like, dude, last night you guys was wrong last night. No, you were fucking wrong. I'm like, how was I wrong, dude? I told you woman she looked nice on uh, Cinco de Mayo, and she looks nice tonight. And if I know she was with you, she could have sat in my section, and she wouldn't have to pay for any of her drinks. And I walked away. Well, they said you stuck your tongue out at them. I what? You stuck your tongue out at them. Now, people have seen my videos, right? And sometimes I rub my face a lot. I'm wiping my lips. My fish, my shit get dry. Last night at the bar, I remember that scene. I remember that episode in time where I had just spoke to this lady. You walk around to the other side. It's, it's not like a bar bar. It's a bar right here. You walk around to the other side and you can order food. But there's a, a like a window where you can see straight through. And I look at my lap. And I look up and I see these people looking at me. Then I step to the side where they couldn't see me and continue to lick my lips and don't wait until the lady got there. And I ordered my food. I didn't think nothing of it. I walked all the way back on the other side and that's when all the shit hit the fan. I'm like, dude. I reached in my pocket and I pulled out my blood sticks and shit, you know, put, you know, my lip stuff, you know, my lip balm shit and everything. I'm like, dude. I lick my lips constantly. I wasn't sticking my tongue out at these people. And then, of course, the boss's daughter said, it's the perception. I'm like, it must be perception. Because I just spoke to this woman and walked away from her. Obviously, I said enough for her to be fixated on my damn grill when I left the room. Why? So, then everybody goes through all this shit. And, and it's like, the boss is like, okay, now that you guys got to talk. He had to tell dude that I've worked with this guy for 13 years. I'm like, you probably worked with him longer than that. And he says, and I've worked with you for how long? I'm like, eight, nine years now. Eight, nine years. And then he looks over at the new guy and pretty much told him, you know, we work just a family out unit here pretty much. And that was the moral of the story. You know, what, what happened was, when it was time for us to squash it or whatever, it was just squashed without no apologies or no nothing. And I'm like, you need to tell your woman and her friend that I meant no disrespect because I wasn't licking my tongue out at them. That ain't me. Even my dude, my, my dude, my friend, you know, this young white kid said, dude, that ain't you. I'm like, yeah, that wasn't me he was talking about because I don't stick my tongue out at no woman. And that's nasty. That's, 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 you don't do that. Anyway, I'm not going to advertise for doing something to somebody and they ain't going to get it. Oh, you bought me one just to try to make me feel better. I, my son buys me ice cream because he want me to spend some money on it or something. I do? I know, because I told you I'd give you the credit card so you can go get the scooter parts. Make sure the dog don't jump off the bed. I got to go pick up Jazzy so we can take her home. And that's what happened. What happened was... Nothing happened. And I didn't get my apology. 
But you know, I'm bigger than it. I don't need no apology. But I did let homeboy know. Because we were all standing, everybody was standing in the back. And I said, furthermore, about you and your boy trying to walk up on me, it would not have been easy for you two to do anything to me. And he says, well, your own homeboy left you hanging. And when your own homeboy tell you you're wrong, you must have did something wrong. And I looked at him just like this. I turned him like this. There is no way in life you and your friend would ever got the better of me. And then that's when somebody came in and said, you guys need to squash this and let that shit go. Because the moral of the story is this. Because I always got to have a moral. And sometimes in my story, that'd be like five morals. And I'm like, damn, how many morals you going to need in one story? But the moral of this story is this. If you ever feel challenged, threatened, back against the wall ass shit, don't back down. Because if you back down, my grandma and them used to tell me this. If you let a man slap you in the face and you don't do nothing about it, he will think he can slap you in the face every time he feels like it. Now, personally, to be honest with you, I would have preferred me getting my ass whooped. Break me off. I ain't had an ass whooping in, in a minute. I ain't got my knuckles skin up in a while. I ain't been, you know, pushed around, uh, you know, against all odds. In a, in, a, in a while now you see that video I did uh, race for the White House now that guy that I did the video with he got in a fight last week with three dudes he's like oh my god it felt so good to finally hit somebody but me being the person I am I'd rather promote peaceful thoughts I know over the last three videos I'm talking about kicking somebody's ass and shit, but we all know the truth. If you look through my videos, you will see the truth. First of all, Daddy Lonzo don't have to put his hands on nobody. Second of all, I'm smart enough to make a phone call and have somebody else do it. Third, because these guys were white, and you know I hate to have to say this like that I would have called some white dudes in to come kick that ass because I don't want nobody to say he called up a bunch of black guys and they came in here and tore up the place nope I wouldn't even went there I would have called some white guys in to take care of business um, I'm not into promoting negativity but me being the person I am, me being exactly who I am, I don't have to do dirt. I don't have to get my knuckles skin up. I'm too smart for that. Um, when you call in favors and shit, it just costs you another favor. The best thing that happened to me today is I got to see some lady win a car. I got to tell this guy, your, your woman and your girl was wrong. He's like, the, they were sober. We just left the party. Please, if you're sober and you stepped into the bar and you've been in the bar less than five minutes and you want to fight somebody, you ain't sober. I'm sorry. Somebody was slipping a little tipsy, nipsy, tipsy rustles. They was knocking them nipsy, tipsies down. Somebody was loaded, a high, and it wasn't me. Well, I had a buzz. But understand this. You people out there know. Well, you should know I love my wife. Because that's all I talk about. My wife this, my wife that. My wife is electricity in a bottle, and I will drink it as much as physically possible. And I never did finish that moral of the story, did I? I just went into another story. I wasted enough of your time telling you I didn't get to get lumped up, so I appreciate you watching these videos. And thank you, because you people are right. The ones that say, don't do it. Why get lumped up and go to jail? And what, what does one guy say? Why fight over a piece of ass that's going home with the other guy anyway? I'm like, I, I got ass at home. Thank you. And you've all been tubed.